Hey guys, welcome back to Kaiser Test RC. So what do we have here? This is my first digital build. Um, I do have the uh, Baby Hawk right over here. So I got a digital drone right here. Just recently did a sort of a flight test and a review on it, unboxing. And it's got the Vista kit in the back right there. And I'm gonna be doing a Tiny Whoop digital build. Uh, I wanted something that I can use, that I can see really well with, and I can fly around the neighborhood. And I'm gonna run Crossfire on it, uh, so I have really far range. And uh, with the uh, digital, digital goggles and everything, I will be able to go pretty far. So I got the Polar Vista kit right here. You know, I could have just used, um, I could have just bought the uh, Gep RC Thinking uh, digital drone but i like to tinker i like to build stuff myself so i ended up buying the frame and ended up buying two frames right here here's one of them they're pretty cheap and i will be putting it putting this uh all-in-one flight board it's the hglrc zeus 25 amp all-in-one board and it's three to six s capable I'm gonna be running this uh, this Whoop on 3S probably. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit heavier than the stock uh, Gep RC thinking drone. There's the motor I'm gonna use. Gep RC GR1105. It is 5,000 kV and it is, uh, the spacing is nine millimeters so it fits on quite nicely there all right guys so the operation so far was a success I'll just show you quickly what I did uh, TX on the Vista unit goes to RX right here on the uh, flight controller the RX goes to TX so they're they're basically reversed you've got 10 volts right here powering your Vista and you have uh, your ground right next to it. And then there's my crossfire. We've got ground and uh, five volts and then TX and RX there. And it's wired just over here. So, sorry, going off the screen there. So, so far it was a success. This one uh, soldering for the uh, 10 volts right here. I was mentioning that earlier. There's some really tiny resistors right behind it. And I was afraid that I might have fried one of those, but hopefully not. All right, guys, so she's coming along quite nicely. We've got the flight controller in. I will be pulling that out just to solder up my motors. I've got my power lead on the back. Got my crossfire receiver all ready to go. I've got my Vista unit, which is my video transmitter. This can also be used as a receiver if you have the DJI controller. And basically what you do there is you just wire, you wire the S bus right there up to the S bus on the flight controller in a ground. Then you can use your uh, DJI remote, the, the version one, the square looking one. So looking good. Got the wires for the uh, Polar Vista just tucked up in there. A couple screws, one two to mount the canopy and two on the front so let's go ahead and put the motors on solder them up to the flight controller and get the canopy on all right guys the moment of truth is upon us I've got the uh, Vista unit in there got the flight controller all the motors are connected soldered on as you can see it's ready to go. I've got my antenna on. I, I made it, uh, added a little bit of a stiffener there with some heat shrink tubing. Got my crossfire antenna and I got my smoke stopper ready to go. All right, so let's plug it in. Let's hope for the best guys. On three, one, two. Hope there's no magic smoke. Three. All right. All right, that's very, very good. 
and uh, looks like my receiver is flashing there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing bound up. I got my Tango 2 right here and I'm going to get it bound to this receiver and put it into Betaflight and then once I do that I'll get the props on and then we'll do a little test flight. And she is all together. Take a look at it. It uh, took a bit of work to uh, get everything all lined up. It's a bit of a tight fit, but the design is nice here where the, um, the Vista unit bolts right to the uh, canopy. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're ready to give it a little test. And uh, I tested it inside a little bit. It felt, it's, it's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna start off with the battery that I most likely would think would fly best on this. Uh, I'm flying with um, just uh, Betaflight stock um, PIDs, uh, the tune for the quadcopter, it's all stock, just Betaflight. So we're gonna see how that goes. I don't really know how to tune very well, so uh, I'm just gonna use the sliders maybe and try and tune things later on. We'll see how it flies though. All right, so let's give it a little fly. Give it a little test. See how she goes. It's really windy here today, guys. You can see the trees in the distance blowing. So I'm not anticipating uh, it to fly great, but we'll see. Let's start it off in, uh, in angle mode here. Just see what happens. Do a little line of sight. Just see first of all how it flies. If it does, eh, it flies. I don't know if you can see it too well or not. I'm hoping you are. Let's bring it closer. It's flying okay. Getting pushed around by the wind. Let's do a little punch out. <laughs> It's got no power at all. No power whatsoever on 3S. It's too heavy. Let's try that again. That's full throttle. Oh my God. Oh, it can barely catch itself. All right, I'm gonna throw on the 4S battery because this is kind of, it's kind of futile flying it on 3S. Be good for cruising, that's it. And just getting some footage of the neighborhood. I don't even know how long this battery is going to last, to tell you the truth, because it's uh, using a lot of energy just to hold it up. So let's land it. I'm going to throw the uh, throw the 4S battery on it, guys. All right, guys. So I got the Ovonic 4S battery in here now. It's a 650 milliamp hour battery. It's pretty heavy. I was using it in my four uh, inch toothpick with pretty big props on it. So it's heavy. It's he This quad is heavy to begin with. And now with this battery on it, it's super, super heavy. So let's see how it uh, responds to this. Let me just move the battery over slightly, center it. So let's just see how this uh, handles it. I'm gonna just turn my Tango 2 on radial. Welcome to Tango 2. And let's plug the quad in. Let's see if 4S makes any difference. Uh, I think the best case scenario for this quad is gonna be neighborhood cruiser because it's, it's pretty heavy. I didn't realize it's gonna be this bad, but live and learn. Absolute worst case, I'll have to pull it out and put it in a uh, bigger frame with bigger motors and props. But uh, anyways, here goes, here goes. Let's do a little line of sight here. I just want to test the uh, punch out. So it flies. Flies all right, but let's see how it punches out. That's a little better. So I'm thinking I got to run it on 4S. Let's try one more time. That's better anyways. A little bit of prop wash there. All right, so let's uh, land this land it and let's take it for a uh, FPV flight 
with the uh, DJI goggles, which is why I built this thing in the first place. All right, guys, so let's do that right now. We are recording. Okay, cameraman, you got it? All right, we're in the air. Looks nice anyways. Not a heck of a lot of power, but basically I bought this to uh, get video. Whoa, almost crashed. And instability, that's messing me up. Let's switch out of there. Okay, that's better. Oh no, I'm in stability mode still. Hang on a second. There we go, now we're in acro. That's better. So she's flying, guys. That's good. It's heavy. And I should be sitting, because I'm feeling like I should be sitting. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Got some good video here. Just want this as a cruiser, pretty much. And it looks like it's going to work for a cruiser. I don't hear a lot of prop wash. Hey guys. There's my cameraman. Hi cameraman. I'm going to fly right between us. So yeah, it's a nice little build. I was getting a little worried if it was going to fly there all right. I'm already at 3.6 volts, so I think flight times are going to be really bad on this. Dare we try a flip? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and a crash. Where are we? Oh, we're right here. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'd say that was a success. We got dirty, but that's what it's for. Fell into the grass. A little bit of air will clean it right out. So it looks like I'm going to have to run it on 4S because it was very anemic on 3S. I built this as a neighborhood cruiser, so that's what it's going to what it's going to be. Nice digital video neighborhood cruiser. I'm fairly pleased with it. I just I got it so I could do some long range. I got the crossfire on the back. And uh, yeah, if I get bored of this, I can always throw it in another frame, right? With bigger props. So there you go, guys. Build successful. I might try and tweak the uh, PIDs. Like and subscribe. Thanks to my um, cameraman, Sammy. He's the best cameraman cookies can buy. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again on the next episode of Kaiser Test RC, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.